What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the Super Wall Breakers and how they are making some pretty Super Queen charges uh, in the game in Clash of Clans right now. Uh, so the Super Wall Breakers are something that I have been using, and I've seen a lot of people, other people using, and they are making Queen charges possible that previously you would never think to even try it. And they're also freeing up spells, because you don't have to use a Jump spell, you don't have to use Earthquake spells, um, and you don't have to use Siege Slammers either, uh, or any other Siege Machine, to try to open up walls for your Queen. Uh, so you're, you're really be able to use resources in other places that you previously couldn't, and it's opening up a lot of awesome attacks. We're going to take a look at it, uh, some examples, and you saw that first Super Wall Breaker already, perhaps, open up that first wall through a Giant Bomb. Um, they are very difficult to take out. They have a lot of hit points, probably more than a Wizard even, um, as well as when they die, they have damage death. They don't have to get all the way to the wall and detonate like a regular wall breaker. They will blow up wherever they die. And if that's close enough to a wall, um, and they do have a pretty big blast radius, then that wall will be opened up with one wall breaker. Um, so right here, next one comes in. Even though it's going to take some damage from that multi, not even close to taking it out. And what this is doing is opening up that next inferno. This would typically be a difficult queen charge. Um, entering and then exiting and re-entering in a way uh, to go to two different compartments and we're going to see a lot of charges like this today. Um, these are charges that would have been previously very difficult uh, to pull off um, and you can pair them nicely with hybrid, with hogs, with miners. This one is a straight miner attack. King uh, to take out the Tesla farm as well as the siege barracks for that side of the funnel and then the miners coming in between. It's a very well uh, executed attack here. Um, the Super Wall Breakers do take up 8 troop space, but when you think about it, you're already going to be bringing uh, probably 4 Wall Breakers, including your Test Wall Breaker, so that's not that big of a deal, really. Um, and it's about the same amount of troop space you would otherwise bring. So really, you're not sacrificing any troop space, um, and they're much more effective. Uh, the chance of a Wall Breaker fail is magnitudes of, of times less Uh orders of magnitude less than uh, than it would be for regular wall breakers because a small bomb won't kill them, a giant bomb won't kill them, and we'll see more in this video exactly how durable they are and how they will detonate even if they don't get to the wall. That's, I think, the most important thing. Uh, even if they die before reaching the wall, they will still detonate. A regular wall breaker has to get all the way to the wall, drop the bomb, then the damage is dealt. Even if it gets to the wall, it might not be able to drop the bomb quick enough. Uh, so this is a huge upgrade from regular wall breakers uh, without any more troop space expense, really. Okay, let's take a look at some of our attacks. A lot of our uh, clan members are, are not using super troops because they're not allowed in CWL. So a lot of people don't want to get them going on their accounts if they won't be able to use them for the weekend wars in CWL. But that being said, we still have a few attacks to take a look at. This is a hybrid attack, so substituting half of those hogs um, in favor, or sorry, half of those miners out in favor of hogs. Another queen charge, and this is another queen charge you typically wouldn't think to do. It's just too difficult otherwise, but you can see those first two super wall breakers. One opens up the multi-inferno, the next one opens up that T above the mortar there, and this is similar to the last attack, kind of opening up that adjacent compartment and allowing the queen to just move along that inner layer of the base. So in a way, it's not a queen charge um, or a queen walk. It's like a charge into the first layer of, uh, of walls and then kind of walking parallel, opening up that next door compartment using the super wall breaker on that junction there. So it's a very interesting technique. We haven't seen this a lot before in Clash of Clans, these types of queen charges. They otherwise would have been pretty difficult to do, uh, but the super wall breaker makes it much, much easier. So we have the siege barracks at the top to create the funnel up there, then the hybrid coming in between, and uh, you can see there's quite a lot for the hybrid to have to deal with here um, in terms of the uh, Inferno Tower, the Eagle, Expos, plus the Town Hall, but one of the benefits, doesn't have to use the jump spell, has more spells, um, three heals and two freezes instead of the two heals and two freezes you typically have if you had to bring the jump spell for the Queen. So there's definitely a lot of value added to the rest of the attack um, by virtue of not having to invest as much in your queen charge. Um, and you can see that here. So the queen comes back out, 
gets more value. In a way, it's almost better she comes back outside the base, not as much damage on her. She can wrap up the base from the outside and let the, uh, the real high DPS core get taken out by the miners and hogs with all the spells plus the warden's ability as it should be. Okay, so this is going to wrap up here. We'll take a look at one more attack. This last one's going to be a straight hog attack. So we've kind of gone full circle from miners to hybrid and now getting rid of those uh, half of miners and going straight to full hogs. Um, so let's take a look at this last attack here. Um, number 11, same attacker, MGK. And this base is a little bit under leveled, but I wanted to show it even still because it was definitely a nice showcasing of the super wall breakers. And let's take a look at how. Um, so drops down the queen once again. Hogs coming in. Uh, they're going to just help create the funnel there along with a few wizards. And you'll see, watch closely for how the super wall breakers are used initially. It is going to go through like three point damage, plus I think a bomb goes off, and it still opens up the wall. Uh, so here it goes, runs in, has two cannons and an archer tower on it, plus the bomb detonating, and it still easily opens up the wall. So I think that just shows uh, how powerful they really are. You don't even need to drop a tank for them. You don't have to wait for the queen to draw damage. This is all stuff that typically would make it difficult to use wall breakers in the past is because you'd have to wait for the queen to tank for the wall breakers, which might require her to get pretty close in the case of a wizard tower or a defense farther in the base. And then you risk the queen taking out the buildings within the base that would attract the wall breakers. Um, so this really simplifies the process. You can see the king was used on the other side there. And this is a great example of why you want to have skeleton traps next to your Tesla farm, especially if it's on the outside of the base where the king can access it really easily. Um, because the king took out a lot of value there um, unimpeded by skeleton traps. And they can really slow them down if they're placed correctly. So... Guard your Tesla farm as well, otherwise the king will kind of wreak some havoc on them. So the free spells here, not the best. They were kind of reactionary, and you can see the first Inferno was frozen, but the healers had just popped out of range. Then once again, freezes the second Inferno, but the queen had just taken it out. So not the best freezes, and we'll see. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a, a hiccup on the hogs in terms of a lot of them dying, but despite these mistakes, I think it just shows that the plan was good. And perhaps this base is underleveled. It also exposed that um, as to why this still worked pretty nicely despite some of these uh, flaws. You can see that uh, the hogs that just took out that bomb tower, m the majority of them got destroyed. So about a quarter of his hogs were killed right away um, just from the eagle damage plus the bomb tower. They weren't able to quite get in that warden's ability. And that can be tough, honestly, when the, the warden doesn't follow as closely as you would like to hogs or to whatever your troops are. Um, they're often petering right on the range of his eternal tome, which is frustrating. But still has plenty of hogs to take out the base. They'll come back and grab those last few defenses on the other side as we wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I've had some technical issues, but was happy to get this video out, and there should be more to come. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.